Hello. If you're new here, my name is Yulia and this is Mitri. Hello everyone. If you will enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you are already our subscriber, thank you so much for watching us and welcome back. Today we will talk about um, perfume called Don Rosa by French uh, niche uh, perfume house Le Liquide Imaginaire. It has a very beautiful presentation, lovely bottle with a beautiful cap and uh, we bought this perfume uh, about four years ago and uh, our juice color is like uh, uh, blue-green, yeah? Uh, in the newer versions it, uh, it's like a pink-red. Also lovely, lovely bottle. Lovely box. Yes, the presentation is really nice and uh, I love uh, the color of this juice. It's really beautiful. It's kind of has this uh, mysterious vibe as well to this uh, fragrance. Uh, for me, this fragrance is uh, all about champagne. It opens up. Uh, I've sprayed it about 15 minutes ago on my skin, so I can still smell the opening. And it opens up so fresh with this um, aldehyde uh, coming from um, citruses. So I'm not sure which one I'm getting more here, pomelo or grapefruit, because uh, I feel the bitterness of grapefruit, but it's uh, also really mild. So it might be pomelo as well, because pomelo is much milder than grapefruit. One spray for you. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Such an amazing, happy, 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 sparkling opening. So beautiful. So it opens up with this a juicy, um, juicy citruses. And then I'm getting full on champagne, beautiful champagne. I don't get um, uh, much alcohol here. I don't get any alcohol at all, no spirit, so to say. But I'm getting this beautiful champagne. It's gorgeous. Uh, it's also got some um, a pear here because it's uh, a little fruity and uh, closer to the mid, uh, middle uh, this perfume has um, rose uh, but uh, it's not a rose that will be typically in your rose perfumes because uh, most rose perfumes are all about rose. Rose is screaming in your perfumes. Here, uh, if you're not a rose lover, I would still suggest you to try this uh, fragrance because uh, there is a chance that you might not even notice it. Some people do notice it straight away, but to my nose, it's all about this beautiful sparkling champagne. Rose here is very, very elegantly blended in the composition. It's very smooth and uh, very deep at the same time. Yeah. It has, it has also some uh, spicy notes, uh, like a uh, clove. Yeah. It has also olibanum or frankincense, but we don't really get uh, too much of it. Yes, we love our, our um, incense uh, fragrances, but here I can't really tell that there is some and uh, there, is, uh, there are woody notes in the base which make this perfume so mysterious and deep. So imagine a very festive, juicy, rich fragrance that puts a smile on your face, but at the same time it's very deep, sensual and elegant and mysterious. It's, it's uh, very attractive also. Super attractive. I really love it. Um, I used to, I have to admit, I used to wear this fragrance uh, only in winter time and late autumn because that's when we all have our birthdays and uh, parties and uh, there's New Year's and everything. So I used to wear this uh, fragrance only when we had some special occasions. Um, but then I realized that I want to wear it more often and uh, I've started wearing it in my daily life as well, and it's so beautiful. Uh, I have shown you this fragrance in my uh, top uh, five uh, fragrances for winter, 2021-2022. Uh, and uh, 
now I'm getting the feel that I will be wearing it as well in um, spring and summer because um, this uh, is a um, you can feel it. it it's uh, moderate in longevity and moderate in sillage and projection but it's not a beast mode it's you can feel it it's great I mean for the first uh, six to seven hours you can feel it it's around you it makes you happy everything is good but then um, after six or seven hours it gets really really close to your skin and you have to really sniff close uh, uh, to um, to get anything from this fragrance it's uh, really long lasting it's uh, it lasts uh, over about uh, 12 hours uh, from up close yeah yeah so <clears throat> For some people, uh, the price wouldn't justify the sillage, longevity and everything because uh, most people, when they're getting into niche fragrances, they want beast mode fragrances. But to me, uh, the price is justified because the scent is just beautiful. I have never smelled such a nice champagne uh, fragrance. And uh, as I was wearing it before only to special occasions uh, that we would do in the evening, so I would have a few sprays on me and it would last me all evening. I was very happy. So now uh, spring is coming, spring is here and uh, summer is coming. And uh, I can see myself wearing this fragrance and I'm thinking I've never done uh, decants. So I'm thinking of doing a decant for myself, maybe five or 10 ml to take uh, in the bag with me just to spray it once more or a few times more because uh, I can see already how beautifully it will be without scarves, without too many clothes on me because before I was wearing it uh, uh, mostly in uh, closed areas and it was beautiful. Also I was wearing it in uh, cold weather outside and uh, I wanted it to project more, you know, in winter because uh, with the scarves and all these clothes it's just uh, a little... Uh, it's uh, lacking a little of the projection but yes spring and summer is coming i've already tried it already uh in this weather now it's so gorgeous yeah i would like to add that the, this fragrance is very diffusive it's not uh, overwhelming yeah and it is, it's very, very elegant very classy and uh, very beautiful smelling such a such a happy happy composition for a good mood yes definitely good mood i see this fragrance also in uh, any type of occasions just whenever you feel like you want this extra bit of happiness uh go and try it in your office why not Dmitry wore it to the office recently he really enjoyed it so. yeah yeah i i wore this fragrance uh, multiple times and uh, it's really gorgeous i think it's very unisex it's really smells like uh, champagne uh, you know, with fruits with with some uh, with some lovely rose uh, touch and uh, a beautiful woody base that's not overwhelming yeah yeah so this fragrance is amazing um if you want to get noticed you will get noticed but no one is going to say wow you've sprayed too much on yourself what is this this is a beast mode no it's easy you can you can wear it in public and no one is going to feel offended uh, most likely people are going to be like hmm, what is this what is this happy smell <laughs> yes yeah, so yeah, I really, really recommend this one. It's amazing if you want to try the fragrance uh, that is um, about the alcohol, but you're tired of rum, you're tired of whiskey, you're tired of warm, spicy fragrances that are amazing for winter. You want something fresher, you want something that's um, with alcohol, but just something to uplift you, fresh for spring, winter, any season really. This is great in any seasons. So try this one out. You might really, really enjoy it. So I think that's uh, about uh, everything that we wanted to share with you today about Dom Rosa. 
love this fragrance instantly puts a smile on your face recommend you thank you so much for watching us uh, if you enjoyed the video uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, thank you so much for watching us goodbye bye